chit chit chili down. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tape Player Knight here, and we're back for the NR2005 Aldi Regional Tour. The 2005 season, we're going to the Craft 100. Well, technically, it's the Craft 44 because it's 44 miles, but I think it's the same. I think it's actually 100 kilometers. <laughs> Looking like real life Phoenix, bro. The Craft 100, I believe it's in 100 kilometers, but who cares? The point standings is Mark Jordan right now leading the points by 13 over Timo Mauser. He has a top 10 in every single race. Polar has four. Everyone else has three or less. Highest guy with no top 10s is 20th right now, Dylan Van Dyke. So top 10s are key in the series. Remember, the top 20 are the only full-timers because there's only 23 in the whole season. With, of course, if you guys don't know, the 19's gone because of reasons. If you want to know, go in Discord server. Let me know if you want to join in the comments. As they're coming in, the poll is going to go to Mitchell Edwin, the defending winner. Second place from last race as well in the front. What the heck is that front row? What is this front row, dude? No way. First and second from last race composed the front row. Mark Jordan also finished fourth last race, and he's starting fourth. What is this, McMorton? Why'd you have to ruin it? <laughs> Coming to the green flag, Mitchell Edwin going to be leading this race. Green flag is out in the Craft 100 at Phoenix. He's gone. Why did he get such a good start? Oh, slid way high in that turn, though. Might get a run, though, off the outside. Kearney in the wall, and there he goes. Gets turned by the 28th. Oscan gets sent off the track. Yo, FIA, hello. He's going to get to third. Oh, they're sliding up. Caution's already out, though. I'll check that out in a sec, but they're four wide off four. If they don't wreck, that's crazy. Four wide. Dude, if that's the finish, I will be the happiest man on the planet. That was awesome. Edwin leads. Somebody died. It looks like it was these two. Megas in the 8, while uh, Josh Harmon in the 14, Timo Mauser in the 9. nine. They actually called a caution for a wreck that happened for the cars in last place. What? Huh? Oh, that was a hard hit. <laughs> that was actually a hard hit. They immediately come in. Looks like Mauser decided not to because he didn't really hit much. And no one else is going to come in. Going to the green on lap six. Green flag is out with the two lappers on the bottom. Edwin is going to lead, and he's going to clear them. McMorton as well. What the heck is Kearney doing? Bro, we're really close to the 14 side drafting at 50. Oh, Harmon slid up. Here comes Willis to the inside of him. Here comes McMorton. Looking to the inside to take the lead. Gets back in line. Uh-oh. This is where all the magic happens. Here comes... Oh. How did they not die? They didn't die. McMorton right on the back bumper of Mitchell Edwin now. The top five sort of ran away. Oh, and there goes Michael. Not, I don't know. So I don't know who anyone is anymore. That's a caution. What the heck is the eight doing? <laughs> what the heck was that? Caution's out. Here comes McMorton. He's the nine scraping the wall, and McMorin's gonna win at the line. Almond Turner in the 36. Looks like Michael Ward gets into the eight of Megas. Slides down, smacks the 36. Zach Polar nowhere to go. And then the eight does this weird thing. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. That was a little weird. Check that out once again. Now they're going to pit. I don't think anyone's staying. Oh, we got a few. Jack Wilson almost always stays out. <laughs> don't know why, but he's going to stay out. He's going to be the leader. Keith Willis, Brittany White as well go with him, and so does Dylan Van Dyke and Josh Harmon and Raul Megas. <gasps> the amount of empty pit stalls. <laughs> They have to drive so far. That's probably the disadvantage of going into pit road under green. You have to drive all the way to the end because 
half of pit road doesn't have stalls due to the lack of cars in this series, which I want to keep. I don't want to add more cars. 25 is like my limit right now. Looks like McMorton's going to win. J Sam and Oscan's going to get second. Looks like Edwin. Edwin! Edwin lost so many spots. Kills the flag man. Kearney as well lost a ton of spots. Going green on lap 12. We got Harmon and Megas. Lap cars on the bottom. I think they're slow though, so they're not going to be that much of an issue, I don't believe. So so the top four and Megas. So the top. These, this group right here of cars ahead of McMorton all did not pit. So let's see if that does anything. Coming to the green flag on lap number 12. Green flag out for Jack Wilson. Looking for his second win of the season. He won at Daytona. Second win of the season looking as well for Keith Willis, who won the race after at Rockingham. Brittany White to the inside. Nick Morin gets to the inside of Dylan Van Dyke. Freaking Edwin fell all the way to 15th. <laughs> and White is going to take second as now she's going to try to work her way toward Jack Wilson in the 63. Oh, gosh. They get so scrunched up and packed in the back. It's crazy. Edwin is all the way almost in last. Phoenix is one of the interesting tracks on this channel. Always has some interesting races. Remember, Whole Foods at Phoenix last year was incredible. Shop right races at Phoenix tend to be interesting, to say the least. See how it is so far in Aldi. Looking all right. I said, as I say that, every single car hits the wall driving by themselves. So it's a little bit of a concern. Mark Jordan continuing that top 10 streak, potentially. He's up in 7th. Only Polar has uh, Polar has four top tens. Jordan's the only one that's gotten one in all five races completed so far. Remember, this is race six of 17 on the season. Car still hitting the wall. Oh, man. Jordan looking to extend that points lead as he just jumped up to fifth with that fourth, third with that one turn. Brittany White trying to high lane. See if that gained anything. Not really. Fast slap of the race is Derek Drew in the 5, who is running toward the back. He's running in 11th. <laughs> toward the back, 11th. <laughs> Willis, oh gosh. He's trying to use the outside lane to his advantage. It might work. What a smart line. What a move by Keith. Jordan is a second behind the two leaders as Brittany White was able to get around the 63 and take the lead. Mark Jordan trying to catch up now that they were side by side and slowed themselves down a bit. McMorton, smart, going with the 28 as Rodriguez doing the thing where he just slides up at every track. And he's my. Oh, he's going to get turned. Oh, he saved it. He didn't get completely turned. Van Dyke thought otherwise. They're almost half a second back. 7 10 says, Here comes Jack Wilson to the inside. Doesn't really get there, though. Will he get to the inside again? Ritz versus TD Bank. Oh, they're super high. Here comes Jordan. Oh, Brittany in the wall. Here comes Mark. Jack blocks. He's going to block the 28, and Wilson's going to get back to the lead. McMorin stays with that 28 the entire time. Bro is probably share drafting as a 100 ally right now in Mark Jordan. Actually, no, NASCAR Thunder 2004 takes years to get ally points. Same with NASCAR 2005. I mean, sorry, not NASCAR 2005, NASCAR 06. And here comes Rodriguez sliding up again. Jordan takes second, and McMorin's going to go for third. So really, that would have probably been like 50 right, uh, ally points. Jordan stays in second, looking for that lead. As they strung out, now they're not wrecking anymore. Heck is all that crap? Never mind. Jack Wilson in the lead scrapes the wall. Here comes Jordan. Any wall scrape loses you tons of time. And now Mark Jordan, who hasn't led a single lap this season, but is a top ten in every race, potentially might get his first lap led of the season if he can just hold Jack Wilson off this lap.
There goes the 63, and Mark Jordan's going to get his first lap lead. Actually, the 63 didn't hit the wall. Okay, good. First lap lead for Mark Jordan, even though he's gotten a top 10 in every race. Brittany White's going to finally take fourth back. Looks like the top seven are kind of gone. The other guys are trying to keep up with them, but behind a freaking, uh, behind Polar, it's a little hard, especially after Willis. So, Jordan and Jack Wilson are trying to use the high lane. McMenamin in the wall gets passed by Kearney. Kearney. Derek's still with the fast slap as we're coming to the halfway point. Once Jordan leads the slap, it will be halfway through the race. 50 kilometers will have probably been completed. Oh, caution's out on track. Of course it is. At the halfway mark, McMorton's going to lose third as Mark Jordan will win at the line. Let's see who wrecked. Check out what the heck happened. Mitchell, Edwin, and Almond Turner go around on the front stretch ow why can't the finish line still be there why does it have to be in this end of turn this turn or whatever in front so now we got more pit strategy mcmorton stays out is jordan gonna stay out looks like jordan's staying out wilson and white come in so all the people that didn't pit in that previous caution have to pit not a lot of cars, though, so I'm not going to really watch it. Almond Turner says goodbye, race. Green flag is back out for Mark Jordan. McMorton behind him, his 100 ally. Let's see if McMorton's going to go for the pass. Looking at the inside a little bit. Rodriguez gets to third. What a pass on Megas there, because Megas and Harmon are holding everybody up. Here comes McMorton to the inside of Mark Jordan. If he taps him, he's going to get 60 rival points. <laughs> oh, man. Side by side, though, and he's not going to hit the wall. McMorton's going to lead the lap, albeit just barely. Rodriguez looking for second. Now, oh, there's a big wreck in the back. Big crash. If that's not a caution, the game is gay. Um, and indeed, that is a caution. Okay. The top five are still racing back to the line. Jason McMorton out in front. Oh, he's sliding up with Jordan. Rodriguez getting a spot potentially. No, he is not. Jason McMorton wins at the line. What the heck? Oops, I accidentally clicked the frame one. Um, so let's see what happened. Fujiwara in the wall. Oh, someone spun out in front of them. Brian Kearney. And just held up everybody there. So he slides up on Megas off four, and... Oh, Megas just completely dumped him. They didn't even hit the wall and pinch. Megas just dumped him. I guess he didn't like the... The rubbing. Alright. Nobody pits, because I don't think anyone's going to have to pit under green, because they keep wrecking when they're going to have to pit. But look at that. We're going to be going green with just over ten laps to go, so if another caution comes out... We're not going to have lappers, and that has to come out really quickly. Looks like, where's the 14 at? Oh, the Josh Harmon is out of the race. The 8 of Megas is the only lap car on track. Green flag on lap 33. 11 to go. 11 or 12? 12 to go. Mark Jordan going to stay. Look at Polar, man. Made it 3 wide to the inside of Rodriguez to take third. Polar on a mission. Him and Jordan, most consistent drivers in the series, is the 15 in the wall. Jordan going back for the lead. Jordan might extend his points lead by infinity if he wins this race. McMorton's teammate Zach Polar with him as well. What will they do to get around Mark Jordan? Coming to 10 laps to go. 
Oh, he's sliding up a little bit. Is Polar going to get to the inside? Here he goes to the inside. They make contact. Polar to the lead. Can McMorton get to the second spot? No, he's going to have to slow down. Megadeth go up to fourth. Derek Drew in fifth. Timo Mauser, Brian Kearney, Jai McMenamin, Jack Wilson, and Brittany White round out your top ten. They finally got rid of the eight car, so he's probably not going to be a... Yeah, he's not going to be a problem for the rest of the race. Polar way high. He's going to hit the wall. Here comes Jordan. He has to slow up. Jordan's going to finally get to the inside, but McMorton right behind him and the other two guys in the top five are joining the battle. And these other guys have a potential to come in and fight as well. No one ran away this the, on that restart, so we got anyone with a chance to win right now. <laughs> Jordan going to get to the lead now, but McMorton all the way on the apron. Polar way high in that corner. He barely nicks the wall, not even that bad. Running out of time, though. Derek Drew going to go for third on Polar. And Jordan now has to try to hold off Jason McMorton. Three wide back there as Polar did the smart move and backing off. Wilson going to try to get to fourth place, and in that he will. No one hits the wall in that top group as Mark Jordan holds the lead. Derek Drew still has the fastest lap, and here goes Jack Wilson going for third. On the five car, he'll take it as now the top two are starting to run away a little bit. Can the two get to the inside of Jordan? Polar was e was uh, faster at getting around the 28. The two, not so much. I guess he's trying to make him an actual 100 ally right now. And they're in the wall. Drew just dropped three spots and maybe four in one lap. Keith Willis up into the top five now. Jack Wilson entering this fight late. Here he comes. He's right there. Is he faster than... That was the 63's best lap of the race, too. 10th fast lap of the race overall. Here goes... Oh, slid up a little bit, the 28. He slid up a little bit. Michael Ward in the wall. And here comes Jack Wilson's gonna take second. He might be faster than Mark Jordan. He, had five, he has five laps to go. Coming to four to go at the line. Mark Jordan holding the lead. Jack Wilson trying to get around him, looking for his second win of his se of the season. Jordan sliding up. They make contact again. Oh, Jordan saved it. Wilson doesn't get the lead until now. And now McMorrin might be able to get to second. And that he will. Brittany White up in fourth trying to join in this fight as well. What's all these late fighters, bro? What's with all the late fighters? Coming to three laps to go, can Mark Jordan get back at Jack Wilson? Or does McMorton get to the inside of the 28 and potentially steal it for second? Three to go. Brittany White's going to go for third on McMorton. Coming to two to go, I think Wilson might be pulling away. Away from the 28. The two's in the wall. Keith Willis going to go for fourth. And that he'll take. Brittany White right on the back bumper of Mark Jordan. To the inside she's going to go. And she's probably going to take that spot. But Jack Wilson has no competitors now that they're side by side. Now White is all by herself in that second spot as now she got away from that 28 and Keith Willis closing in on that third spot. One lap to go at Phoenix for Jack Wilson. He won the first race in the series history at Daytona in a photo finish over Raul Megas. Speaking of Megas, he is nowhere to be seen because he's a lap car super slow. But he was the fast set of all those guys. And here he is. Going to be the first driver in series history to get multiple wins. He slides up the track. Going to not hit the wall. White too late. Jack Wilson wins the Craft 100. And Mark Jordan was barely able to hold on to third. But will extend that streak and might still be the points leader. 
And I'll wait for the 8 car, because the 8 car is going 2 miles an hour. There he is. <laughs> and there's the 59. He actually passed the 59, what the heck? Um, the win for Jack Wilson. Oh gosh, Talladega. Um, 13 laps left for both Wilson and Jordan. 4 la cautions, 10 lead changes. And the points, Mark Jordan continuing to lead. He's extending it up by 57 now. He has completed all but one lap this season. What? And Drew, Derek Drew's completed all but two. That lap's completed chart is going to be very close throughout like all of the drivers, not going to lie. Except for Michael Ward and Mitchell Edwin. <laughs> anyway. Yep, he has the points lead. Where's a... Uh... Jack Wilson, he's up to fourth with that. That was his second top five. No one has multiple poles. Laps led right now is Levi Jenkins. But Mark Jordan, he has the points lead. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.